Yeah, good quality win versus quality opponent. Proud of where guys um, played, competed for four quarters. Um, thought our defense did a nice job after that first opening drive of settling down. Thought our offense did a really good job of answering that score and settling the game back down. I think they went three and out. We went down and scored again, and, and um, then the onslaught continued. That's a good football team. They've got some really good football players. Um, so proud of our guys for that. And with that, I'll open up questions. Now you said right, on Monday no that you weren't um, you were ready to say that the the defense had it all figured out yet. But you know, what do you say about the defense now after you know shutting down two offenses that were pretty potent in back to back games? Well, I mean, I think they played a good game. Um, and they're continuing to get better. Um, they're continuing to trust their calls. You can tell they feel more comfortable within the call and playing within the structure of the defense. I think our defensive staff's done a really nice job of game playing the last two opponents and taking away their strength, strengths and, and making them play left-handed a little bit. And uh, that's what we're trying to do. Um, so, you know, each week presents a new challenge. And so, you know, nobody's arrived, um, but uh, it was it was a good performance. Coach, what did you um, what did you guys do different defensively? Maybe after that first drive, was there something that you adjusted to, or was it just guys? Yeah, we play? stopped the run. We, we were getting bled down the field uh, in the run game, and I don't think our D line was very physical, nor our linebackers. Um, we were out of some positions, and uh, those guys just settled down. You know, they got used to the game speed. I think being out ten days probably had a little bit of adjustment to that, and so. But, uh, yeah, I think they just settled down. Eli, you, know, you mentioned earlier in the season how well the right side of the offensive line had been blocking. And certainly you, you rode those guys early in the game, Derrick, and had a lot of success over there. Yeah. Was there anything just beyond the fact that that particular part of the group is playing really well, or was ULM doing something that kind of invited that for We were running away from five. Yeah, five was the left defensive end, so we were running opposite him. He's a really good player. We just didn't want him to affect the game, and and uh, so early we were trying to make sure we ran away from him. Zach also had plenty of time in the pocket. Um, did. Offensive line did a really good job today. Were there any were there any things that they started doing when they started bringing a little more pressure later that opened up more of the passing game for you? Well, uh, I thought he did a nice job scrambling. I know that there was at least three times that he had free rushers that shouldn't have happened that we've got to do a better job in protection. Um, you know, we can't count on him to just make people miss in the pocket and go, you know, get us a first down. So, um, you know, specifically on third down. Um, but, yeah, I mean, we got to do a better job of protection, I think. I mean, I know we didn't give up any sacks, but we had at least three that, that could have been sacks. So we got to be much better in protection, especially free rushers off an edge. When they're, they're bringing five-man pressure, we had six guys blocking and free rusher. I know this is outside of your years here, but um, last time that uh, UL, uh, ULM uh, had uh, played against Dow, we put up uh, over 50 points, uh, beat you guys uh, uh, you know, down in Monroe. Uh, and then on top of that, Last year, when App was ranked, they had the letdown against Georgia Southern, and you know injuries and stuff played a part of that as well. Yeah. Was there any extra motivation um, for the for the team for the players uh, that that you were aware of, um, just preparing for this game this week? Yeah, I was fully aware of it. We posted signs all in our building on everybody's locker that we got beat 52 to 45. Uh -huh. Caleb Evans' first start. We're well aware of what happened last year. Um, we were well aware that no Sun Belt team has ever been ranked for two straight weeks uh, in, in the history of the conference. And so we were motivated to write our own history, to, to, to always compete to do it better than it's been done before. And uh, yeah, we were well aware. We use any type of motivation we can. Um, you know, there were some things said in the media that we felt like um, gave us an edge from a motivational standpoint. Um, so, yeah, we, we use everything and anything, and, uh, and uh, absolutely, we're well aware. Uh, I think the last part of our motivational video was the, uh, their score against us last year, saying Warhawks win or two years ago. So, we were well aware of that and, and wanted to make it right. Coach, you're now 6-0. and Do you uh, take any celebration in being bowl eligible? Um, yeah, I mean, we're bowl eligible. 
but uh, our goal is to first win the Sun Belt Conference Championship. Um, so I'm proud of the guys for getting bowl eligible, but uh, there's a lot left to play for and a lot left to, uh, to accomplish. And, and, um, so, yeah. 13 for 18 on third downs. Yeah. Pretty solid. Um, you know, was it just staying ahead of the sticks or were there some other things that were integral there? Well, I think anytime you're 13 for 18, you know, some players had some big time plays. I know Zach, like I said, had some scrambles that got his first downs. Uh, Corey had a big catch. Um, I think there was just multiple things that occurred that uh, helped us do that. I mean, third down is playmaker down. And so our players had to come out and make plays and that's what they did. So that was nice. The flip side of that is that uh, your defense held them to 2 of 13 on third downs. Yeah, that was awesome. I think they, they had a great defensive package. Uh, you know, Coach Coach Root does a nice job with his blitz package and getting uh, getting our best 11 on the field. Didn't rush a quarterback. Akeem is a, I mean, good luck blocking Akeem Davis off the edge. I mean, that's that's an all-day task. I mean, he is, a, he is an incredible player. And, uh, you know, I just think, I will say this, I, th I think uh, we've got a, a solid football team with some very special talent on there, and I hope our fans are really enjoying getting to watch some of these guys play because they're special. They're special. You feel like maybe this is what the fan base and everyone else kind of around things was, was looking for as far as a performance out of you guys? Is this? I know nothing's ever perfect or anything like that, <laughs> but um, is this kind of – well, what were expected out of this group? Well, it was said in the media that it was an opportunity for ULM to make a statement, and we, we decided we wanted to make a statement. So that, that was what this day was all about, was trying to make history and make a statement. Yeah, for the game, um, you know, on the field, Josh Thomas was really kind of being vocal with all the guys. And you've talked about the kind of leader he is before, but um, you just – it seems like week after week the message is very clear and it, the – you know, the message that you're spreading is is going through those players and it's coming from those leaders and you know just what do you think it takes for a, a guy to be able to get his point across that way like for a, for a Josh Thomas to be able yeah. to take what you want well first Josh is a, he's an outstanding leader and I've said it plenty of times that he was one of those guys that bought in before everybody else and just decided that he was going to make he was going to seek everybody else you know to get them to come on board too but I think it's a clear consistent message you know, these guys are 18 to 22-year-olds. They get distracted easily. There's all kinds of things. Twitter rolls down. I mean, it's a constant news feed. And so we're just trying to be clear and consistent with our message, which is, hey, always compete to do it better than it's been done before. Uh, let's be 1-0 this week. The process starts all over. And our goals are clear. It's to win the Sunbelt Conference Championship in a bowl game with class, integrity, and academic excellence. And that's, that's who we are, and that's not changing every other day. And we're not chasing this saying or that saying. We're just – doing the same thing over and over again. If you can do that, you can get consistent results. So that's what we're trying to be, and, and kudos to those guys for buying into the always compete. And uh, it's, it's been fun so far. But, you know, we got a tall task next week. we got to fly to South Alabama. Uh, we got to play in a, a, what will be in a, a, a 12 o'clock kick, but an 11 o'clock kick uh, central time. So we got a tall task ahead of us, and then we're going to need to get healthy and, and get back and get focused on that task. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, guys. We were just talking about you, Coach. Well, <laughs> um, y'all can go ahead with questions. Josh, I was just bringing up the coach um, at how vocal and you, how vocal you were before the game. It seemed like you were talking up a lot of the guys. Mm -hmm. um, you know, what kind of what was kind of going in, going through your mind as, as as guys were getting on the field and you're getting ready to take take the, take the field the first time as a ranked opponent at App State. Um, you know, what are you trying oh, yeah. to do? I mean, just just like Coach Drink said, do it do it better than it's been done before. That's like that's the main thing our team always focuses on, especially from last year, because I feel like last year we had a really good team, but it was just small things that kept us from doing like going to the next level. And so I feel like Coach Drink has always pushed his team to do that. And um, I just being a leader, I'm always trying to end the, I'm trying to just not copy, but uh, portray the message that the coaches is given in a different way. And so I just, I felt like that's what the team needed today. Uh, just going out there being hyped, just getting them ready to go. Cause I feel like uh, ULM is a good football team, especially their offense, their quarterback and their receivers. I feel like they was gonna try and um, 
just try to make it try to make it a shootout, and uh, I just want to make sure that our guys are ready to play from the from the very first snap, even though we didn't start that good, but. I felt like we played a really good game. Why do you think things are resonating so much with everybody? Because it, se- it seems like every week you guys kind of have that same mindset. Yeah, it's Coach, it's Coach Drake, man. He's giving us a great message every week. Just want to know every week if we do that. I feel like if we just stay focused on that one, those two numbers right there, it, the sky's going to for us. If we just be one to know every day, we, if we be one to know tomorrow at practice, and then one of those on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, on Saturday, it's going to take care of itself, I feel like. And so when we do stuff like that, uh, nothing can, nothing I feel like can get in our way. So, I mean, just staying in the moment. That's the main thing we got to focus on, I feel like. Josh, you, you guys get a, uh, that first drive mm-hmm. didn't go the way you wanted it to. What took place on the sidelines? And then how did you carry that demeanor forward? Because it just yeah. got, you guys got better and better as it went on. Yeah, I mean, it was just a miss, it just a misfits, and guys just weren't doing their job. I mean, it's happened a couple of times this year already, like uh, at least three games, I, I, think, I think right now, where they scored the first drive and we just couldn't get off the field. We, had a, we got a penalty, then we let them get a second and 15 run, and just kept them on schedule. And so we got to the sideline, we just, we just had to calm down and get back to what we were doing. On the, like for the game plan, just do your job. That's all we talk about. Is just if you do your job, the defense will be fine. We'll do. We'll stop anybody. Just do your job, and we just had to calm down, uh, refocus on what we had to do, and that's what we did. I feel for the rest of the game. Josh, uh, talking to coach a little bit about the motivational factors of this week, and uh, obviously the last time that uh, you guys played the you know, and we had a bad experience mm-hmm. losing there. Uh, last year when you were ranked, you had a bad experience down at Georgia Southern. Can you talk about how that those motivating factors uh, played into today? Oh yeah, for sure. It's just, just, just letting the team know that even though we ranked or whatever, we can still be beat. Like we can still be had if we don't come and do what we're supposed to do on the field. So that's the main thing I feel like Coach Drake is always trying to relate to the team. And it's something I'm always trying to tell everybody is that, look, if we do what we're supposed to do, we can we can be anybody. But if we go out there and not, not doing our job, not playing physical, not playing hard, then anybody can beat us. And so I feel like the team, especially learning from the early in the season, the first couple of games where the defense just wasn't playing as good because we weren't doing what we were supposed to and it showed that anybody can get, get yards on us, anybody can move the ball on us. And I feel like that's what that has resonated with our team a lot. Just seeing if we do what we're supposed to do, how it looks on film, and seeing and then seeing what if we're doing what we're not supposed to do, how it looks on film. I think those two things, just seeing it on film, what you put on tape is um, very important. And I think it helped us a lot this week. 14 points in two games mm-hmm. is what you've given on the phone. Uh, you you feel like that uh, this is what you expected before the season from this um, defense? Yeah, I mean expected. I want to say that I just I just feel like if we win games, do we supposed to do the win games? I'll be fine with that. But I feel like we definitely been playing a whole lot better. We just I feel like we finally cooking in the scheme a little bit, like a little bit better because especially in the beginning of the year, the scheme we was, we was all we were just wasn't on the same page. I feel like, and now uh, being with Coach Roof for a little bit longer time, I think it's. And doing, uh, having a couple of games with him, seeing how he calls, calls the defense, uh, has definitely helped a lot. And uh, it's just helped us to play fast and do what we're supposed to do. So the new staff, is that uh, a lot as far as the adjustment and everything? Uh, the adjustment was really just uh, learning the defense and getting all the garbage down. That was the uh, that was probably the most difficult part at first. But after that, it's just executing your job and knowing what to do and when to do it. That's, a, that's the most important thing on defense is knowing your job and then executing your job. If you do that, then the offense really, really can't do anything, I feel like. So that's what we focus on a lot. Questions, both of you. This, you hold, this is linebacker Jordan Fair, for those of you who don't know who he is. You hold them to two for 13 on third downs. Um, you know, obviously some of that is keeping them behind the chains, first down stops, those kinds of things, but still. That's an explosive offense. When you're keeping them off the field with that much success, there's got to be a little more to it. What was taking place, uh, the direction you were getting from the coaching staff, and then you guys working together on the field there? Yeah, I mean, we emphasized all week that we got to get off the field on third down. And like you said, uh, getting stops on first down, second down is big, seven for second and long. I mean, third and long. 
So <clears throat> we just communicated uh, to the best we could and we executed well. Um, I mean, coach had a great game plan in and we practiced it all week to force him into those long drop situations. And uh, thankfully we went out there and uh, did what we did. Yeah, like Jordan was saying, just we talked about all week, you gotta win on first and second down, get them to third and six plus, because uh, their tendency is just to pass it, just a lot more on third and six plus. So we know they're gonna pass and we can get into different subsets and different uh, packages to match up with their receivers and play tighter coverage. So I feel like just doing little things like that, just winning on first and second down, allows our defense to just on third down, go after the quarterback and play really tight coverage. Jordan, early in the game, they were having some success running those A-gaps. Um, what were they doing early that was causing you problems? And then what did you guys adjust to start shutting those particular runs down? Really starting in the second quarter, they only had, I think, 22 yards of offense in the second quarter. Yeah, no, that was just self-inflicted. That was all of us. Um, I mean, just as far as alignment and <coughs> assignment, I mean, uh, we just had to get used to the tempo and what we were seeing and stuff like that. So we came out slow. Um, we got to get a lot better at that. And that's been a trend that we got to change right now. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it was just, it wasn't them, it was us. You know, I mean, we we're making some mistakes that we should have, and we got to uh, execute better, and especially in those situations. So we'll be better at it. How much better can this defense get? You've had two games in a row where you played lights out. Just got to keep going. One yeah. another every week, like, I got that we did good this game, but I promise you, South Alabama don't care that we did good this game. They're going to try and put 40 on us. So we just got to go out there this week, practice hard, learn the game plan, and, and try to do it again next week. So, I mean, the only, only way we can get better is if we got to keep getting better and don't be complacent, never satisfied. Like, that stuff can kill teams. And we just, that's, that's another reason when you asked me that question about how I was, I just don't want us to ever get satisfied because I've I seen what I can do to a team. So, I just, I don't want us to have us, and I feel like we're doing a really good job of that right now. I'm just going to piggyback and say the exact same thing. Don't get complacent. We don't get complacent. We're never satisfied. We're always hungry. We always say we can be better. We don't We don't glorify the great plays. We, we That's what we expect. That's the standard. We look at our mistakes, and we got to correct those and know that we can play much better. Um, we got to play as a whole unit, and <clears throat> to be able to go back and to have that good uh, – Good uh, constructive criticism is really good for our defense because we continue to grow and learn because we want to get better by learning from our mistakes. So we just always stay hungry. I know you both just talked about not wanting to glorify the great plays, but could you just talk about your your take, your uh, turnovers, like the force, the fumble return, and the interception? Yeah, uh, it's just something we, we focused on. All. We focus on it since camp, but just getting takeaways. That's a, that's a lot. Of, that's another thing we talk about on defense. Is just getting the, getting the ball back to our offense because we know when Zach and those boys get it. There's gonna be a, they're they're almost unstoppable. I feel like so. As just running to the ball, like just getting to the ball, getting hats to the ball, population to the football. Is something Coach Drew talks about a lot. Just when you watch the game, see how many uh, App State hats are in the football, and on that play. Uh, Somebody wrapped up the running back and George Black saw the nose tackle, was running 12 yards down the field and stripped it out. And I was right there to scoop it up. And it was just a, a great play. You know what I mean? It's just something that we work on every day, running to the football, strip sack, like getting the ball out. It's just something we work every day, the little thing that we work on and it showed up in the game and it, and it helped us. That was what was really amazing about that play was the fact that he came from so far away to, to have an impact. And you know, that was a big play for them. Uh, Johnson had to, had a pretty significant mm -hmm. game. First quarter, so what did you see as far as uh, as uh, his uh, strip on the play? What, 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 what I mean, I just saw. I mean, I just seen a guy wrap him up. It's the yeah. it's the drill we do. Late, yeah. it's called late to the party. When one guy wraps him up, another dude comes and just punches it out or is trying to strip it out. It was exactly like the drill. Yeah, I fit him in the hole, and when I was bringing him down, uh, I guess the ball kind of popped out, and George just made a great effort play. I was trying to hold him up and bring him down, and when I was bringing him down. I guess the ball got loose, and George just made a great play, and J2 was right there to scoop it up. I didn't know what happened on it when yeah, I wrapped him up. I just heard everyone going crazy. So, thankful, uh, <laughs> thankfully, it turned out what it did. George, you talk about your interception. This will be the last question, then we'll switch over to that. Okay. Question. Um. Yeah. I mean, I was just. Uh, I really wasn't expecting it. I was manned up on someone else, and I saw the ball. Uh, they had they they brought their backup quarterback in, and he he had different tendencies and stuff. So when I went to man him up, I just seen the ball like. Come, he was a taller guy, so he was right above me. And I just jumped up and had to make it. It was one of those split-second plays that just happened. And I'm just really grateful. I should have made one last week, so it was good to 
uh, be able to bounce back from that, that one last week and finally get one. So it was nice. Thank you, guys. We have offensive players up here. You can go ahead and questions. No, let's start with you. Um, Preview running lanes for, for the running backs, especially to start off the game. Um, what kind of went into the game plan of being able to establish that and get those guys in the open field really quickly? Well, it's the same thing every week. You just got to do your job. Uh, you know, the coaches put a scheme together so that we, if we do our job, then the plays will hit. We left a lot of running yards out there, but the best part is we got great backs like Darrington that if you just give them a little, a little hole, they'll be able to run through it. Um, so uh, big props out of them, but then I think uh, um, just the scheme. Zach, how important was this for you guys to kind of get a win as a top 25 team? I guess Coach said there was things on your locker about um, motivational things that you did. And, uh, how, how big was this to get this one? Yeah, uh, obviously it's an accomplishment to be ranked. Uh, I mean, you saw what happened last year when we first got ranked and um, we got embarrassed in George Southern. Um, I think this is good for us just to get this win under us, um, still be ranked. Um, I think it shows a lot about our team that we can put stuff behind us. I mean, nothing's too big for us. I think we just, all we, we preach that you just got to keep fighting. Don't let the news get too big for your head. Just keep going and going. Um, I think we did a good job of just, I mean, always like we do, um, try to be 1-0 and every week, and I think we did, we did that. Darrington, you've had a couple of games in a row where it was more of kind of a grinded out running game. Uh, and, you know, since you became a starter midway through last year, not many players in the country have had more 50-yard runs than you have. You know, when you're in there and knowing that you're capable of taking one the distance, does it feel good or do you, do you kind of feel relieved to break that one early and kind of get out of that, you know, three and four yard carry mode you have been in lately? I mean, yeah, but no. Like, even last year, you know, there was a lot of hard yards. Get three or four, three or four, three or four. Then just what happened in the second or third quarter, you might break one. But other than that, you're getting hard 10, 10 or less yards. But as long as we have a positive play, it doesn't really matter. No, can you can shed some light on that blocking combination on this touchdown run? It looked like there were three guys on this pretty small little bit. Uh, yeah, uh, I actually just watched it on like the ESPN replay uh, back there. Um, but I mean, that's the way this, the play is blocked. Uh, Henry had a great block on a linebacker that really sprung the play. Um, but. You know, we saw how they were going to line up to that formation and that look, and you know, we got on our our scheme, and then uh, Henry did his job, and then you know, you all see how fast number three is. So that was the that was the rest from there. Zach, you had some time in the pocket early in the game. Uh, you guys really kind of forced them into bringing an all-out blitz at you. Um, what was going on up front that that these guys, knowing these guys were doing, that was just you know creating so much time for you to scan the field? Yeah, at the beginning of the game, uh, they were mainly a cover three team, so they were dropping a lot of guys off. I only bring in about four guys. Um, Noah did a good job with protection, making the calls where they needed to be, um, and doing what we needed to. And then, obviously, in like the second half, they started bringing some more blitzes. Uh, number five, he was um, coming off the ball quick. Um, so, I mean, props to them. I think they corrected it, um, and they were bringing pressure when they needed to. But I think we also did a good job of, yeah, we're getting pressure, but you dump it off to a running back or something like that, they're going to get you. 10, 15 yards. You guys were uh, 13 of 18 and converting third downs today. What made you so effective as a third down offense today? Well, we work on it a lot. I mean, we put a lot of emphasis uh, each and every week into um, third downs. I mean, that's a very important down, you know. Uh, I think the best part about third downs is you get ahead of the chains on first and second down. Darren's talking about, we call them dirty runs, and you want to get one, two yards, then that way you're not in third and nine, third and 10, third and 11. Um, I think that uh, is something to attribute to the success. Darrington, um, they go out first drive of the game and score a touchdown. How important was, uh, was it for you to, as quickly as you did, get the momentum back with that 59 yard run? Uh, I guess it was really important, but at the same time, as long as we putting points on the board and doing our job, it's not really too much to worry about the defense and the other team's offense putting the points. As long as our offense sticks to our scheme, our rhythm and stuff, we'll put up points and it's not too much to worry about. That seems to be a characteristic though for you is, is coming back with big plays after uh, uh, the other team has uh, scored. Penn State last year, for example, uh, you know, there have been several times like that in, in your career where you've been able to come up with a, a momentum changing uh, play like that. In, anything that just goes into that for you? Uh, I would just say things just roll the right way. 
it's not really too much special that I'm doing. It's just the uh, offensive line, tight ends, receivers doing their job, and Zach putting the ball in place. So the defensive guys are talking about you know feeling more comfortable in, in the scheme that they're working in now, and you're starting to see the product of that on the field with the the low yardage numbers and turnovers and stuff like that. How have you guys noticed? maybe in practice that these guys have gotten more comfortable, maybe more acclimated to, to what they're running now? I would say they kind of get like their swag back. You know, they had it the first couple weeks and it kind of went away, but you can you can kind of get that feeling, you know, guys talking a lot more in the locker room, trying to pick each other up, coming in and watching a little bit more film. So, pass off to them. No, no, I talked to Sean Clark earlier in the week and he was really emphasizing you guys being physical mm-hmm. at the line. You know, when it comes to being in the midst of the game, a lot of stuff happening really quickly. What do you guys do on the field to really kind of keep each other, you know, moving forward, grinding, grinding the defense down, and just being physical with them? I mean, the I mean, I hate saying it all over all the time, but like, do your job. Like that's our that's our job. Like we're we came here to be a phys, to play a physical brand of football, whether it's in the run game or the pass game. Our job is to get these guys out in space, give him time to make plays uh, with the ball. And that's our job. Uh, And we pride ourselves in being a physical team. We pride ourselves in running down the field and being on the ball. Like uh, for us, if if there's, if Darren's is down the field, when they're watching film or your ESPN or whatever, you should see all five guys in the, in the screen at the same time. Um, Now granted it's kind of hard when he gets going like that, but uh, we try. Uh, But I mean, it's just, it's just keep everybody focused, you know, and like, they were I mean, a good team, so we knew we had to come, come going ahead. And Coach Clark does a great job of keeping us, keeping us going the right way. So you're saying Darrington might have a step on you? He does now. When I first got here, he didn't. Uh, but uh, he, over the past couple of years, he's had some good off seasons. That's really helped him get a step. Um, but I don't know. Next off season, we'll see what happens. Zach, what's one thing that the rest of the country doesn't know about this football team right now? Uh, honestly, I think this was probably the first game that all three phases are starting to click. Um, I mean, you can tell if you look back at the other games, um, offense would be clicking, defense would play good, but not to where their standard would be. Um, special teams sometimes would slack in what we know their standard is. Uh, I think this is the first game that all three phases have played really, really good. Um, and I mean, it's scary good. Uh, we're a really good football team. I think now the sky's just the limit. We just got to keep working. What's it mean for y'all as a program to uh, become bowl eligible for the fifth straight season? And that's that's phenomenal. I think we're, you know, last year everybody was talking about we're the first team to come up and then do it for four straight years. So now it's five straight years. So next team that come up comes up from the FCS ranks has a bigger uh, challenge ahead of them to break that record. But I mean, it's just it's a tribute to hard work in the off season, our coaches all our support staff, our fans, everything like that. I mean, it was raining today for the whole game, and we had 30,000 people there, and they were loud, ready to go. So, I mean, you got to put some of that into play, too. So, just a all-around uh, credit to success. Does it uh, take pressure off of you as an offense to uh, see suddenly your uh, defense plan so lights out as it has the last two games? I mean, I think, yeah, but at the same time, we've got stuff that we need to fix, too. I mean, our goals, whether they're stopping them or not stopping them, whenever we go on the field, we're not trying to do anything less than put it in the end zone. And so uh, with that being our job, I mean, we just got to go out there and execute. So uh, now I'm not going to say it doesn't help watching the boys ball out there. because it, it definitely does, but that's our goal every time we go out there and score. How do you think you've even improved in the uh, last couple seasons just as, a, as a runner? Being smarter. Um, I think <laughs> last year I took a lot of dumb hits. Um, and, I mean, obviously George Southern put myself out of the game. Um, I think this year, um, just watching um, just watching how I played last year and just the hits that I was taking that were unnecessary, um, I think now that obviously getting on bounds and sliding, uh, it's given me more life and not being as sore as I was last year. Um, so I think that's really good. One more question. Did you give me any advice as far as uh, not taking hits? Well, yeah, after the uh, Georgia Southern game last year, Texas State, when he came back, I was like, hey, make sure you get down. All right, thank you guys.